All right, let's do our main Adam Schiff segment. We talked about him a little bit already because he announced his Senate run. It's not a coincidence that he announced his Senate run just after being officially booted from the Intelligence Committee. Let's hear it from the man himself. He posted a TikTok breaking the news. Very dynamic video here we're about to watch. (laughs) Don't pass out, everybody. (laughs) Ladies, don't swoon. Be careful not to swoon. Hello, I'm Congressman Adam Schiff with some troubling news. Today, Kevin McCarthy removed me from the House Intelligence Committee, all for doing my job, for holding Trump accountable and standing up to the extreme MAGA Republicans. We knew it would be bad when the Republicans took over, but it's far worse than we expected. But I can promise you this. This is not the end of my fight for our democracy. This is just the beginning. Please join us and contribute today. Thank you. From I mean, not, not not since Elvis appeared at the Louisiana Hayride has there been such an electrifying performance. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Um, all right. So, Russell, go ahead. OK, so, uh, you know, predictably, they're just going to do the knee jerk shit lib thing. That's terrible. That's terrible. They're taking them off the intelligence committee. This it's it's like the Weimar Republic all over again. They're taking over the fascists. <laughs> da, 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 da. This motherfucker should be in jail. Forget, forget about to be on an intelligence committee. Adam Adam Schiff is one of the most shameless liars in Washington, and that that's really saying something. He probably had more to do with pushing Russiagate and particularly the Steele dossier than any other single politician. He ran around telling people, and you might remember the clip, it became very infamous, although mysteriously hard to find the actual clip now. Um, He said he had a smoking gun. He had a smoking gun. Look, I, I, I will not often say anything in defense of the shit libs, but that was a big part of why they were so convinced that Trump was going to jail because they couldn't imagine. This is the thing with liars. Uh, this is sometimes attributed to uh, Hitler, but I think it might be a misattribution. But um, people will believe any lie as long as you make it big enough. So it, it just wouldn't occur to people that you would have this congressman saying that he has seen intelligence that constitutes a smoking gun if he didn't, right? So they just assume there's some evidence that's going to come to light that Adam Schiff is telling us about. And of course, once the Mueller report came out, it became clear that was a lie. That was a total lie. So we, we have a segment. We have two segments, remarkably, where The View did good work. It happens every now and then. This is Megan McCain. Um, you have claimed for years now that you have a smoking gun of evidence of collusion. Your quote is ample evidence of collusion. You said that. But Robert Mueller and his investigation found that there was no collusion. So can you share with us right here, right now, on The View, the evidence that you have and explain why Mueller was wrong yesterday? Well, first of all, Mueller wasn't wrong. Uh, Mueller started out by saying we didn't address the issue of collusion. So those who are saying no collusion, well, what's your evidence? they're just wrong. You've been saying that on well, TV yes. for years. Well, I will tell you, and we, and I've also been saying, as you know, that the evidence is in plain sight, not hidden anywhere. And we went through that evidence. Yeah, that's not the Russians question. offered dirt on Hillary Clinton. Okay, well, right- all, even if that is what you said, where that, is it? But she's it's not. asking you for it. Right. No, I know it's not, but I'm just saying she's asking you for it. Well, this is what he tried to do. He tried to do a semantic trick. Right. claiming he wasn't claiming secret knowledge. Right, right, right. But he was. Uh, and sent it to Don Jr. And Don Jr.'s response was in writing and said, as for your offer of foreign illegal help, I would love it. He accepted the offer. They set up a overt act in furtherance of that, the secret meeting at Trump Tower, and they lied about it. You have an offer of illegal help. You have the acceptance of that offer. You have an overt act in furtherance of that conspiracy. That is, I think, by any rational American's expectation, the, the personification of collusion. Now, Bob Mueller had a different question he needed to analyze, which is, can I prove each of the elements of the crime of conspiracy beyond a reasonable doubt? And as you know, well before the Mueller report, I was pointing out to the public there's a difference between what we understand as collusion and whether you can prove all the elements of crime. So would you consider uh, yesterday a big win for yesterday. Democrats? Would you consider yesterday a big win for Democrats? 
Uh, you know, I would consider it a win for the American people that they got to hear from the person who did the investigation. They got to hear unfiltered by anybody else what he found. Uh, you know, for the former director of the FBI and the special counsel to say, effectively, the president acted immorally, unethically, unpatriotically, oh, unpatriotically. Uh, and likely in a criminal fashion, uh, the American people needed to hear. Um, if you're measuring whether this is a success in terms of whether it brings us closer to impeachment or not, that was not my object with uh, wanting him to come in. Oh, no, my of object course not. was, of course not. He's what they call in the business a slippery son of a bitch. Yeah. Um, so so okay. So to fill in a little bit, we have a second view clip that's also uh, very good. Um, okay. So uh, Devin Nunez, who was uh, the Republican chairman of the uh, House Intelligence Committee, he did an investigation into the Steele dossier, into the role that it played in uh, going to the FISA courts and getting warrants to surveil Carter Page. Um, and his memo, um, which was released in, I believe it was, uh, 2018, uh, made a lot of damning accusations saying, you know, the FBI really misrepresented the origin of this, uh, of the Steele dossier. They didn't reveal that it was produced for Hillary Clinton's campaign by Fusion GPS working for Hillary Clinton's campaign, um, they used a Yahoo article that used as a source the Steele dossier <laughs> to prove the validity of the Steele dossier. Um, and, you know, the Democrats denied all this. So oh, crazy Republican right winger. And then uh, finally in 2019, um, the inspector general, Michael Horowitz, vindicated the Nunez memo. Um, but what, what was even more damning is... Um, in 2020, in May, the transcripts of the internal investigations and meetings of uh, the House Intelligence Committee came out, and it turned out Adam Schiff knew the entire time that all of these accusations of collusion were bullshit, that he was told by witnesses under oath, he was told by the FBI under oath, that there was no evidence at the same exact time that he was out there making these claims. So right. now, so now this is something that got almost no coverage in the United States. Uh, Steele wound up being sued for libel by some of the subjects of the Steele dossier, and he lost in England. Now you want to see the corporate media blackout on uncomfortable truths and action. You go try to find American reporting on that story. You try to find reporting on that, that non-right wing reporting on that story. Um, so they caught up with Schiff in uh, 2021, bringing up his role in legitimizing and promoting the Steele dossier. And uh, once again, he uh, he gives a uh, wonderful answer. So I want to ask you about something that's in the news a lot right now. Um, you've been really prolific over the past few years being the head of the Intel Committee, and you defended, promoted, you even read into the congressional record the Steele dossier. Um, and we know last week the main source of the dossier was indicted by the FBI for lying about most of the key claims in that dossier. Do you have any reflections on your role in promoting this to the American people? Well, first of all, whoever lied to the FBI or lied to Christopher Steele should be prosecuted, mm -hmm. uh, and they are. Uh, and unlike in the Trump administration, if they're convicted, they should go to jail, not be pardoned. Mm -hmm. uh, so Donald Trump pardoned Roger Stone for lying. He pardoned Michael Flynn for lying. Notice the uh, level of the weaselry right there. Mm -hmm. How you? I mean, this is well, what they, a lot they of always do that. Do. They, they, well, that's what they're trying to do with the classified yeah, documents. Right off, right off the subject. All of a sudden, we're talking about yeah. Roger Stone. Ten yeah. seconds in, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. should go to jail. Um, but at the beginning of the Russian investigation, I said that any allegations should be investigated. We couldn't have known, for example, people were lying to Christopher Steele. So it was proper to investigate them. And let's not forget what we learned in that investigation. We learned that the Trump campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, 
was giving internal polling data, campaign polling data, to Russian intelligence while Russian intelligence was helping the Trump and campaign. And to be clear, he was fired halfway through the campaign. Well, he may have been fired, yeah. but the, the effort to get Russian help continued, and even beyond the effort to get Russian help, but you the president also sought to get... But you may have spread Russian disinformation yourself for years by promoting this. I think that's what Republicans and what people who entrusted you as the Intel Committee Chair are so confused about your culpability in all of this. Well, I, I completely disagree with your premise. Okay, well, her uh, yeah. premise is 100% right, and this ties into the previous video. The primary source for the Steele dossier was Igor Danchenko, a Russian national. So if you're going to make a big deal over the Don Jr. Trump Tower meeting, which turned out to be some scam from some publicist for a Russian songwriter, I think it was, then it was actually also a crime on the Democrats' part for acquiring opposition research oh, yeah. from a right. Russian national, right? right. If one right. is collusion, so must be the right. other, right? right? So that's what she that's what she's saying there by this itself was an act of disinformation that you could reasonably say was Russian in nature because the primary source was a Russian national. It's one thing to say allegations this, should this be This was just it was disinformation they liked. Right. It was it's disinformation right. they liked. Exactly. Right. I completely disagree with your premise. Uh, it's one thing to say allegations should be investigated, and they were. Mm -hmm. It's another to say that we should have foreseen in advance that some people were lying to Christopher Steele, which is impossible, of course, to do. But, but let's not use that as a smokescreen to somehow shield Donald Trump's culpability for inviting Russia to help him in the election, which they did. For which trying you did, to which Ukraine Hillary into did, too. Which Hillary did, too. That's how you got the dossier in the first place. I mean, it's right. just such right. utter nonsense. Helping him in the next election, mm. which he did, uh, into inciting an insurrection, uh, insurrection, which he did. Um, none of that is undercut. None of that serious misconduct is in any way diminished by the fact that people lied to Christopher Steele. No, I think just your credibility is. Well, <laughs> you go. That was you good. Go. That was good. That, was, the, well I, that, that is a, a rare props. I will give to the ladies of the view. So, yes, do the Republicans have their own uh, biases? And sure, yes, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, fine. That guy, legitimately, if anyone has ever deserved to be kicked off the intelligence committee, it's Adam Schiff. He has absolutely no business being on the intelligence committee, given the evidence of using that position to spread information that he knew was false for political ends. Please clap.